Have you ever been reading about Apache Parquet and wondered what projection and predicate pushdown are? Let's find out together in this video. Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. We're going to be using Kaggle's FIFA 2023 dataset again. It contains 10 million records about players and a bunch of different stats about them. Let's have a look at one of the records in this file. So we're going to use the PQRS tool just to grab the first record and then we'll print it out to the screen using JQ. I'll include a link to the PQRS tool at the bottom. As we can see, we've got a record representing Lionel Messi. You can see there's a bunch of different fields. There are actually 110 uh, fields in total. You can see we've got shot power, we've got the club name, we've got the tags, we've got images, we've got the value, we've got the wages, we've got loads of stuff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Python REPL and we're going to import pandas and we're going to import the context timer so that we can see how long things take. And what we want to do is we want to query Parquet to count how many records have a value of greater than 125 million in the value underscore EUR field. Let's start off super naive and we're going to query the file as if there was no such thing as projection or predicate pushdown. And so we're going to write the query just using pandas uh, and then let's run it and see how long it takes. As you can see it takes a while right so let's speed that thing up and uh, we can see it still takes just over eight seconds. And what we've done is we've loaded a data frame of everything. And we could then do a filter on that value euro field and count the number of records. And we can see we get 515 records. And we don't really need all those co columns though, right? And that's the idea of projection pushdown. We only need to get back the columns that we're using. And so in this case, there's only one, right? It's only value underscore EUR. So let's go and change, let's go and query the file again. But this time we're going to tell the read parquet function, hey, I only want the value underscore EUR column. And if we run it this time, you can see the time is massively reduced. So we're down to 0 0.7 seconds instead of more than eight seconds. And we can get the count on that as well. And you can see it's the same number, 515. Okay, now, so that's projection pushdown. Let's now have a look at predicate pushdown. And we're gonna use DuckDB for this. So let's import that and we'll create a database. We're gonna use a slightly different query to keep things more interesting. Uh, this one is gonna compute the average salary of those players with a value over 125 million. And so we're gonna run that query. And you can see it's, it's very, very fast, right? So it's 0 0.03 seconds this time. And you can see the average salary is at 255,000 euros. So what's going on here? Why are we operating in such small fractions of a second? Uh, so it's e actually easier to understand if we look at the query plan of the DuckDB query. So let's import a function that I wrote earlier. So this is called query plan and it sets explain output to all so that we can get the uh, unoptimized plan as well. And then we're basically putting uh, all the plans that it gives us into a map. And notice that we're also, we're doing it for the query with explain prefixed on the beginning. So we can then call a uh, query plan for our, the query that we just created. And you notice that we get back three plans. So we get the logical unoptimized plan, the logical optimized plan, and the physical plan as well. Now we're only gonna be interested in the logical unoptimized and the physical. So let's start by looking at the logical unoptimized plan. So this is like kind of the naive version, right? So we do the parquet scan, then we do the filter, we pass the data up, then we do the aggregation and we get the projection. Now, if we now look at the physical plan, uh, we can see that actually now the filtering, you see the filtering has been pushed down into the parquet scan. So you can see we're doing filtering there. So it's value euro greater than 125 million. And the bit that's cut off says value euro does not equal null. And that is exactly what we mean by predicate pushdown. So we've pushed the filtering down as far as we can. So in this case, it's down to the time when we're scanning the parquet file rather than getting all the data and doing the filtering afterwards. So what exactly does it mean? Like what happens when we're filtering at the Parquet scanning level? So remember that Parquet files are split into row groups that contain all of the columns, but only some of the rows. And those row groups have some metadata, which the scanner can use when it's going through them. And so this query here is gonna show us the metadata for just the value Euro column across all of the row groups in our file. And so what you can see here is we've got back the minimum value and the maximum value. And then it also tells you how many uh, entries, how many records are there in each of those row groups. And so for a query that's looking for records of a greater than 125 million, we can ignore uh, row groups three all the way down to nine. And so we're immediately reducing 80 million, 80 million records or so, or 70 million records are gone. Uh, and so that's it. If you want to learn more about row groups, check out this other video up here you might like, and I'll see you in the next one.